What's up guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to Season 3 of the Arteta Arsenal Rebuild. Season 1 was all about getting back in the Champions League. Season 2 was about competing and we actually won the Champions League in Season 2. Here in Season 3, Premier League time baby. We need to bring the Premier League back to Arsenal. The squad we've got is super strong at this point. Martinelli on the screen right now, 88 overall. Erdegaard 89, Neves we signed from Wolves 89, Captain Kieran Tierney 88. I don't want to make too many transfers because I do like the team that we've got here. The bench, it's a decent bench and the reserves are adequate enough for this season. I will though be making some adjustments. The transfer market is open and I will definitely be diving in to improve the team. Let's go then boys, let's get straight into this. This is an ambitious move. We are meeting with Tottenham Hotspur manager Nuno Espirito Santo. A massive deal that will go down in history. Arsenal are attempting, Arteta is attempting to sign what is a super defender from Tottenham. Edmund Tap Soba. Can we get this deal done? Sol Campbell-esque. Can we bring in a man from Spurs at the back to transform us into a top side to a title winning side? This deal is not going to be cheap. We know Spurs are going to get every single penny possible out of this one. They really don't want to sell to Arsenal, but Tapsoba and Arteta are relentless to get this one through. And we get it through. Yes, we do. Nuno, I'm afraid time has come for Tapsoba. To leave the white half of North London and join the red half. It's time to bring him over and bring success to this football club again in the English Premier League. Big signing, guys. Very happy with it. A few moments later. Alright then boys, with that signing of Edmund Tapsova into the team, straight in at centre back. I want to add some competition out at right back for Tommy Yasu. That's right, Tyreek Lamptey of Brighton, a long term target of Arteta. He is about to join the football club. Bring him in and he will have a big impact I feel this season. Tyreek Lamptey, a new looking back four with him at the right back and Tapsova in at centre back. Hopefully, this back four is the back four that can win Arsenal a Premier League title. Guys, while you're here, please do smash the like button and subscribe if you're new for FIFA 22 content. I hope you enjoy this series. If you do, let me know down in the comments. Uh, hopefully, you guys will continue to enjoy videos like this and I will continue to make them. It's time to negotiate for Tyreek Lamptey. Hopefully, we can get this deal over the line and it won't break the bank. You can see we've got nearly over £300 million. So... I don't think we're going to run out of money anytime soon. Not by a long stretch. In this one, we're looking through to see if we can offer any players in a potential deal to get this one through. So we go through the squad. There's several players in here that would be happy to let go. But the players we want to let go are not the players that teams are after. Teams are after the players we need to keep, as you'll see in this deal in a moment. They are not interested in Matthew Smith. They're interested in another blonde wonder kid, which is Emil Smith Rowe. That's never going through. Emil Smith Rowe is never, ever leaving. This will be a cash only deal. That's the only way we're going to get Tyreek Lamptey out of Brighton and into the Arsenal. We're going to offer a very decent sum, negotiate with Graham Potter and Brighton. Get this deal done, boys, because it's a big one. Lamptey to the Arsenal. Here we are. The first game of the season. This is the UEFA Super Cup. Massive opportunity to get some silverware in the first game of the season. The lights are shining bright today. Can Arsenal come away with another European trophy after the one we got last year in the Champions League? A Super Cup to add to that would be beautiful. The King, Thierry Henry. Number 14, TT would be very proud of what this side has achieved under Arteta. And today we face Sevilla. Sevilla consistently win 
trophies in Europe. But today, we're going to put that to rest. Today's our day. We wait for Super Cup, baby. Let's do this. Come on, Calvert-Lewin. Erdegaard. Martinelli. Saka. Neves. And Partey. Gabriel out wide to Captain Kieran Tierney. Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Sly ball. Gabriel Martinelli across outside of the boot into Partey, who heads it home. Thomas Partey gets the all-important first goal. Arsenal lead in the Super Cup. Great start to the game. Martinelli across the box. What a ball in. Thomas Partey, great run from him. He gets himself on the score sheet. Super Thomas Partey. Absolutely undisputed in the midfield. He will never be replaced. Our number five. Ow. Party, party. Another goal then didn't come in till the second half where we were trying to hold possession deep in our half. It did not work. And here we go. Sevilla back level and fantastic finish as well. Osmian scores for Sevilla. Great signing for them. And they're back in it. 1-1. The Super Cup is again hanging in the balance. Who can come away with this massive, massive moment in this season? Beginning of the season, you want to start off with a cup. Especially the Super Cup. Nobody wants to lose in the Super Cup final. They don't come around often. So you have to take every single opportunity you have. Ramsdale clutching. Getting absolutely nowhere near it. Fantastic finish. 1-1. Again, we just could not defend properly. But tap Sobber. Already showing why we spent the big money on him. In from Spurs. Martinelli. Brilliant ball through to Emil Smith Rowe. And he puts on a clinic in front of goal. 88 minutes on the clock. Smith Rowe surely bags himself a winning goal for him and for Arsenal in the UEFA Super Cup final. What a way to do it. One of our own. Bags it right at the end. Arteta's journey continues. Arsenal's journey continues. Super Cup, baby. Oh, yes. Beautiful finish from that man. L number 10. E-S-R. Love him. Absolutely love him. And Lopetegui cannot believe it. Arsenal have stole one here over his severe side. Who, to be fair, over 90 minutes have to say, the better side. We are the ones who are going to come away with this inaugural massive moment. Massive moment. Full time. Confirmed. Super Cup winners. The Arsenal. The fans are buzzing. Big season ahead, boys. Big season ahead. This is just the beginning. A 2-1 win over Sevilla counts for nothing. Short term, it's great. Long term, we need to keep the momentum this season. Premier League, we are aiming for a Premier League title. Anything less would be a disappointment. Great camera work there from EA Sports and FIFA 22. Love that. Straight into the net. This is better. This is what we want to see. Captain KT. Oh, love it. Love it, boys. KT. Wins another one. Okay, boys, here we are then. After 11 Premier League games, we sit in sixth place. However, it's not as bad as what it sounds. Just six points off the top of our North London rivals, Tottenham Hotspur. The league title is well, well in the balance. Only 11 games played, so we don't need to panic. Bottom three, Fulham, West Brom and Leeds. They are dropping down into the bottom three, but still plenty of games to go. Unfortunately for us, though... All the way through until January, we remained in sixth. Only about a seven-point gap at that point, but it was decision time to be made. We was entering the January transfer window, and I made a big call. 
we need to dip back into the market and make another big signing. Ish Miley Saar. January is here and we are not afraid to spend some more money. Whatever it takes to win some more silverware this season. Would we be able to potentially retain our Champions League trophy from last year? Can we pick up some more silverware in the FA Cup or the Carabao Cup? And the Premier League again, our main target. Ismaili Saar, really important target for me. I went in with a decent sized bid, but also a player will be leaving us. A player that just hasn't worked. Record signing, but has to be said, record flop. Nicola Pepe. Pepe, thank you, mate. Appreciate your attempts and your service. But it's time to move on. Ismaili Saar, the new man in town. The new man in town. And Ismaili Saar only had literally a few weeks to settle because we are in a cup final again for you boys to enjoy in the Carabao Cup. The first bit of domestic silverware you can win in England was up for grabs and some old foes will be clashing again. Arsenal, Man United for a chance at the first bit of domestic silverware. The Carabao Cup final at Wembley. It's a big one boys. Oh, it's a big one. Who will come away with another bit of silverware? Will it be us to add to our Super Cup, add to our Tetas Champions League, and obviously his FA Cup he won before the career mode began? He could potentially have a clean sweep here. He could potentially have a clean sweep. If he wins the Carabao Cup and the Premier League, that would be every single trophy. And that would be the whole set complete. That would be the trilogy complete as well for this series. Let's see what happens in the Carabao Cup one step at a time. Big game. Thomas Partey, fantastic tackle at the back as always. Looking for Calvert-Lewin to make a run. A dinked ball over the top. Calvert-Lewin has breached the line of defence. Calvert-Lewin dinks it to perfection. The inside of the post bounces in over the line. 1-0 lead at Wembley. Arsenal have the lead. Oh, we have the lead, all right. The perfect start to a cup final you can imagine. Wembley is Arsenal's second home at this point. Recent years, very successful in domestic cup competitions at Wembley. And today has started the way we hope it ends. With Arsenal in front. Great finish. Beauty. Bruno Fernandes through ball into Marcus Rashford. Bit concerned at this point. Lots of pace. But we do look like we're going to defend it well. Rashford though, back inside. Bruno Fernandes again. This is Ghana, Cristiano Ronaldo on a plate for Sancho, who can't finish. The ball is still alive for United, and look at this. It still is dropping for them. It just felt like it was inevitable, and this man, Bruno Fernandes, makes sure of it. Slams it home five minutes before half-time. The captain now of Man United gets them back level. Cup final reignited. United won. Arsenal won. It's up for grabs again, boys. It's anyone's final. And who will come away with the first bit of silverware? Don't you worry. We weren't going to just let Man United come here and walk away with a Carabao Cup. When we get to a final, we make the final count. And we pull it back to the new boy, Ismaili Sa. Scores in the cup final. Already his name is in folklore at Arsenal. 2-1. Surely that is a winner. Early in the second half. Long, long time to go. We need to hang in there. Man United coming forward. We coming forward. Ismaili Saar slammed that one home. Beautiful finish from him. Fantastic signing already. Already. Pepe out. Saar in. And he's already pulling up trees. Great goal, son. Love it. And if the game wasn't done at that point, 65 minutes gone. Ishmael Isar again, heavily involved, dinks it across. And Calvert-Lewin, our number nine, our Lacazette replacement, bags. 
bags, goals, 3-1, surely, surely no way back for United now. Carabao Cup, it's got to be coming to North London with Arsenal. Another bit of silverware for us, surely now. Great header. Keep again, nowhere near it. Brilliant display from us at Wembley. Wembley, Wembley, come on. Up the Arsenal. 3-1, Arteta, buzzing. But this is Arsenal. We don't do things the easy way. And Cristiano Ronaldo will never, ever give up. What a player. He's just born to play football, isn't he? Born to score goals. Born to cause havoc for any team he plays against. Cristiano gets Man United back in the game. And, uh, yeah, it's hanging in the balance once again. It's three goals to two now. Ronaldo, surely not. Four minutes to go. Surely not a comeback. Neves pings it out wide. And this, this is our Teta ball. Tap Soba. Nice ping out wide to Tieran, Kieran Tierney. Not Tieran Tierney. No, boys. Kieran Tierney. Ishmael Issa into Partey. Thomas Partey comes up with big goals in cup finals for Arsenal. He's done it again. It's four. Four two at Wembley. Carabao Cup. Thank you very, very much. Oli Gunnar Solskjaer, pack your bags, son. Your will is fallen off. Arsenal, cup winners. United, deflated. 4-2. That's the wrap. That is the wrap. There we go. Now trophy celebrations can ensue for Arsenal. A beautiful day for the football club once again. Winning over Man United. Winning more silverware under Arteta. Varane fuming. He can't believe it. He's joined Oli. And he keeps crashing. Absolute nightmare. But joy for Arsenal. Silverware again. But that is not the main target. The Carabao Cup. We can't lie and act like it was the main target. Super Cup was great. Carabao Cup is fantastic. But now it's time for the big trophies. Champions League. Premier League. We need to win one of those to be successful. We need to win one of those. Let's do this, boys. Kieran Tierney. He's getting a bit used to picking up cup for the Arsenal at the minute. Bit of silverware. Love to see it. Tierney, congratulations. Boys, it is North London Derby time. There is not many games of the season left. We have 11. Most of the other teams have about 10. Tottenham are leading the league. We have to stop this. If we win today, we will potentially put a halt on their title challenge and increase ours. We'll close the gap right down to within just four points. It's a must win. It's Derby day. But it is a bigger one than ever. We have to win it, boys. Come on, Partey. Big goals and big moments you've had. Tiemans. Wow. In the midfield for Spurs. No joke, then. They have got a serious team. No wonder they're flying high. We cannot. We just can't allow Tottenham to win the title in the year that we were supposed to. It cannot happen. The Emirates Stadium. Absolutely packed for this North London derby. At the Emirates, Arsenal Spurs. It's more than the North London derby. It's potentially title deciding. Wow. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Doesn't get much bigger than this. Taps over left Spurs, remember, to join us to try and win a title. He'll be fuming. He'll be fuming if Spurs win it and we don't. This game is a big one. Good head up from T Kieran Tierney there. Into Calvert-Lewin. Very good target, man. Into Martinelli. 91 rated at this point. Ball across to Emil Smithrow. The goal scorer who won us the UEFA Super Cup. Bags himself. A beautiful finish. A great run into the box from him in a North London derby. Is the title race back on for the Arsenal? Can we somehow claw ourselves back onto the top 
10 games to go. Big games to come as well still. We've got a massive one at the end of the season against Man City. They're right up there. That could be potentially a title decider. This one is definitely a title decider as well. Well, well on its way. We are leading this one though. 1-0. Good start, boys. Well done, Emil. Oh my God! Wow! Kane, Tottenham. They weren't just going to uh, give us this result. And uh, I could feel it. And Dombele slams one home. 20 minutes gone. Back. La la level. Now, a loss in today's game, I think, would definitely write us off. There's no way we would be able to win the title by losing again. They would extend their lead. We wouldn't pick up any points. It would be pretty much over. A win, we would definitely be back in it. A draw, I don't know if that would be enough. It might leave it a little bit too late to try and win the title. A draw, I'm not sure what that would do for our chances. At the minute, it's heading that way. 1-1. Kayo Saka, not his best ever season for us, but late in the season, he started to really pick up form. And Emil Smith Rowe loves a goal, apparently, in season three of the Arteta rebuild. He loves to score for the Arsenal, especially in a North London derby. Doesn't get any better than that. Strike a pose. Ha <laughs> ha. Strike a pose. This game could be remembered for a very, very long time. Arsenal got the lead, boys. 2-1. North London derby. It's back on. Oh, dear me. Human Son. Too much pace. Cannot deal with him. It's absolutely absurd. He's still got the ball in Dombele. Back to Son. It's just, yeah. Yeah. Yow. Okie dokie. Aaron Ramsdale. Actually, you know what? No, no. This isn't Ramsdale. This is FIFA 22, ladies and gentlemen, where goalkeepers have an absolute mind of their own. They don't, they're not interested in the football, no. They just want to eat the grass. That's it, Ramsdale. Jump straight past the ball. Eat the grass. Yum, 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 yum. And Harry Kane. Of course. It's absolutely ridiculous. What is going on? We've literally just given them a path back into the game. A game we couldn't afford errors. 2-2. And Gnabry, the absolute absurdity of this career mode. Gnabry, at Spurs, never. Tillemans, yeah. Dagger in the heart, Spurs 3, Arsenal 2, at the Emirates. Are Spurs going to win the Premier League? Seriously? On this career mode? Really? We weren't just going to lie down and let them win it, but Spurs were relentless. Brilliant winning header, though, at the back. Tammy Abraham, the nightmare, sets away our January signing. How important could this January signing be? Because Ishmael saw 3-3 in the last 10 minutes. We get level again. Three goals each. Six-goal thriller in the North London derby. Now he will strike a pose. January signing, that could be pivotal. Absolutely pivotal. Scored a massive goal in the Carabao Cup, Cup final for us. Now a massive one in potentially what is a Premier League final for us. 3-3. Free, free. And that is all she wrote. 3-3. Three, three. Premier League title really hanging in the balance now. Okay, guys. Unfortunately... Our journey in the Champions League is over. We lost to Man City 5-4 on penalties after a 6-6 aggregate. City have knocked us out. They will face Man United in a fantastic Derby Day Champions League final. What a game that will be. Unfortunately, Champions League is not ours. But the Premier League could be. 83 points, 82 for City, 81 for Spurs. Any of them three could win the title. And the reason being is that we have City on the final day. 38 matches. Game week 38. Arsenal City. If City win, they will win the title. If Arsenal win, we will win the title. If we draw and Spurs win, they will win the title. Who will be in Premier League champions? We'll find out next. Here we are, boys. Here we are. Dreams are made of moments like this. Saka with a glint in his eye. Erdegaard. Looks like he's feeling the pressure. 
This is the Etihad. This is Pep Guardiola versus Mikel Arteta. A real rivalry has ensued between these two now. Last season, the dagger was in the heart of Arteta. Then he's knocked us out of the Champions League and denied us retaining our European title today. We have to prove a point. We cannot lose again to Pep. We need this. We need this. The Premier League. If we win this trophy, it will complete the entire set for Arteta and put him down as an absolute hero. Arteta rebuild. The trilogy could be complete. Let's do it, boys. Let's win this Premier League. Oh my god, City, their passing just rips you apart. Raheem Sterling could not get near to them. The defending was shocking. Who's closing down? No one. Everyone just stands there. Yeah, sure. Sure, Phil. Why not, Phil Foden? You have a free shot, mate. Sure. Why not? City won. Arsenal nil. Not the start we needed. That is, uh, yeah, this defending is just, I can't even explain it. I just don't get it. Yeah, love it. Okay, we love to make it hard for ourselves. Foden slams it past Ramsdale. We actually had a very good season for us. <sighs> City won. Arsenal nil. <laughs> Come on, boys. Calvert Lewin. Martinelli's pace has been so deadly for us this year. Martinelli! Inside 20 minutes, we're back level. At this moment in time, Spurs are winning. We are drawing. Spurs will win the Premier League. We have to win it. We have to win it. Otherwise, Spurs are going to win the title. We can't allow it, boys. We cannot allow this to happen. Not this day. Not any day. Martinelli gets us back on track. Now we need to go on and win the game. Free kick into the second half. Early doors of the second half. Erdegaard. What a moment this could be. Our number eight. Our Erdegaard. Here he goes. It's a great effort, and it's cannoned off the bar! Is it going to ever happen for us? Is it going to happen for us, boys? We are not giving up on this. Neither are City. I have news. Spurs have conceded late on. They are losing on the final day. We just need the point. We need to hang on. Now for seconds. We've gone over the allotted time. Spurs have lost. We just need the point. Please, Ramsdale, with a title-winning save. It is. What has just happened? Tottenham Hotspur have bottled it. Oh, my God. Drama. City can't believe it. Spurs can't believe it. Arsenal are in dreamland. They're back on top of the Premier League. After a long, long time away. What a season. Three trophies in total. Super Cup, Carabao Cup and now Premier League. In total we've won before the season began, before the career mode began. Arte had an FA Cup to his name. We added a Champions League. A Community Shield as well. A Carabao. And now... Super Cup and Premier League. Wow, it is just unbelievable. What an end to this season. What an end to this career mode. That is it. Three episodes you've got. One, two, three. A trilogy. And it ends perfectly with Arsenal winning the Premier League. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys.